Hey fellow YouTubers, I'm back again and I wanted to talk to you guys about a dream I had a couple of days ago. Of course, I've had rapture dreams. I posted it on there. Um, I've been asking the Lord for more dreams of the end time and what's going to take place. And um, he gave it to me the other day and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is how the dream starts off. It's late night. And I'm with two other guys, and we're eating somewhere at some diner, late hours on the morning or late at night, some something like that. <clears throat> and we noticed a red streak of fireball shooting across the sky, and it went over the horizon. And then we didn't see it hit something, but we did see the light from the impact of it. And it was like a bright, flashing light from the impact of the uh, red fireball that flew over the sky. I didn't hear the noise because we were inside of this building on the first floor. Or, and then we, we had access to the horizon, I guess. We are sitting like in the ocean front or waterfront property somewhere. But nonetheless, um, in the dream, there was not much talking, but as if like we made notice to it and then a little time passed by and we noticed a wave, huge, 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 huge wave that we can see out in the horizon making its way toward the coastal line. I'm talking about a wave never been seen before. I've never seen a wave like that, maybe in movies, but that tsunami looks like what it was. It had to be like, I can't even imagine 300 feet to 500 feet tall, maybe taller, I don't know, but we saw it way out in the distance and it was pretty tall. I immediately in the dream I left the guys but before I left the guys I'm sorry forgive me before I left the two guys I don't know who I was with but before I left them I told them to repent right away repent ask forgiveness and if you don't know the Lord ask for him to come in your life and be sincere because we might not make it out of here you know and of course I'm a believer but I was still repenting and asking for forgiveness and it took so much time for the wave to come because that's how far it was, but it was still huge to where you can see it coming in. I decided to just make a run for it and go to the highest point of the building. Now, apparently this building had an elevator that went up certain floors and then after that you had to get off and go to another elevator that take you all the way to the top. And, and that elevator does have ground access, but apparently where I was or where we were, I, we didn't, I guess they didn't go with me. I, I don't know if they went their own way, but we split up and I went to that elevator and I had to get off and go to the next elevator to go to the tallest floor and apparently there's like 99 floors on this elevator or on this building excuse me and I still didn't make it to the top and before the wave hit the dream ended now I think that's a foretelling of what's going to happen considering that I do live in South Florida and Maybe that's going to happen on the same day of the nuclear attack. I don't know that the Lord showed me But guys get ready, you know prepare your soul, you know, we're, we only here on this earth on a spiritual journey to enrich our soul Through Christ to make it to heaven, you know, there's only two options either hell or heaven and you can be spiritually dead or spiritually alive and people are so caught up about the daily things of this life they competitiveness, their accomplishments, their goals, their careers, how much money they make, what they're doing. And at the end of the day, nobody ever thinks about what if I die tonight? Or what if I die the next seconds? Like these officers officers that just died in, in Texas. I'm sure they weren't thinking they were going to get uh, confronted by a sniper gunman. Or these two guys that just died by the police abuse in uh, Minnesota and Louisiana. You know, no one thinks they're going to die the next day everyone thinks they're going to live for a long time nobody knows so why were we preparing for this earth when our life is only short here prepare for your soul your soul is eternal it lives forever you know you can either do it through christ and and uh, read his word and be obedient to him and accept him and let him be your lord and savior and live righteously and repentantly so you can make it to heaven not knowing when your time is up or you can live the way you're living now. Do the things you want to do. Live for yourself. Be selfish. You know, go out and do what you want to do. Sin all day. But you don't know when your time is coming, when it's going to be over. Where do you think these people went? 
who probably didn't know Christ, who probably didn't care because they wanted to live their life and not the life for the Lord. I'm not saying they went to hell, but I don't know if they went to heaven either. Now, people, I'm reaching out to you guys because this dream is vivid. Reality around us is getting crazier day by day everywhere, not just in the United States, all over the world. So prepare yourself, folks. You don't know when your last days are going to be. Find the Lord. Receive the Lord. Be obedient and live in repentance.